Welcome to the quick demo of Zometric Statistical Process Control Software. It provides accessibility to the control charts and capability analysis. This software comes with intuitive configurations and flexible data capture capabilities. One can see reports and analysis feasibly. Easy access and granular controls enhance its functionality. Few of our customers gaining wonderful experience. Let's explore its features with a demo tenant. There can be multiple users within a tenant, and the users can log in using their username and password. Once logged in, we can see a multi-filter at the top of the page. This can be used to look up for production equipments, parts, tests or a combination that we are interested in. This demo tenant has been pre-configured with both master data as well as records. If we click on the drop-down below equipment or part, we can see the respective list of production equipment or parts configured in the tenant. We can see three types of tests. Variable tests are continuous or measurable data types. For example, pH can be measured in decimal format like 6.52. Or diameter can be measured as 1.2 millimeters. XBAR R or IMR control charts can be configured for variable tests. Defect and defective tests are attribute data types. Defect tests can be counted as the number of defects per unit opportunity, for example number of dark spots per meter of paper. Defective tests classify each sample into one of two possible classifications, for example warped straight, pass fail, go no go. U chart can be configured for defect tests and P chart can be configured for defective tests. Below the filter we can see many combinations of equipment, parts and tests. Each combination is called a SPC scheme. Let's select one production equipment, DNCF Machine 1, and one part, DNCF 1818 Black. Now reset the test parameters and click on Filter. Now we can see a filtered list of SPC schemes. Let's say, we want to record one new data point for Fabric Strength Weft, so we click on Single Data Entry. On the top of the page we can see the selected equipment, part, test and related specifications like LSL and USL. Below that we see two control charts, I chart and MR chart, based on the latest 30 data points. On the right side we can see a single sample data capture form. The sample time defaults to be the current time, however, it can be modified if required. Let's say our new measurement is 112. Sample ID, lot or batch number and remarks are optional, so we can leave them empty. When we submit the form, the I and MR charts get updated in real time. This single subgroup data entry is very helpful for real-time shop floor SPC implementation. It not just helps the user submitting the data to visualize the statistical tests and trends in real time, the subscribers of the specific SPC scheme can also get email alerts on rule violation. Along with single subgroup data entry, Zometric SPC software also supports bulk and group data entry. In bulk data entry, we can copy and paste data from Excel or Google Sheets for one SPC scheme at a time. This is especially helpful when we need to feed large amounts of historical data, or in cases where real-time SPC is not practical, for example if test results come with a lag. Similarly, in group data entry, we can capture data for multiple tests in one go. For example, click on all variables for IMR. All tests related to a combination of an equipment and a part are grouped by their configured chart types. We can copy and paste the data from Excel or we can fill the data manually for each test. While single, bulk and group data entry are different modes of manual data entry, Zometric SPC software is also industry 4.0 ready. It can be configured to support automated data capture through API integration. Also, notice that hyperlinks to all the tests related to the selected equipment and part are listed on the right side pane. Let's navigate to another test called Fabric Strength Warp. We can see a different IMR chart. Similarly, if we navigate to weight per square meter test, we see a XBAR R chart. Unlike the single sample data capture form for IMR charts, in XBAR R charts the single subgroup data capture form allows multiple readings per subgroup. It also supports variable subgroup sizes. In the bulk data entry pages of XBAR R tests, the data array column accepts comma-separated data to accommodate for multiple samples per subgroup. We can also copy and paste data from spreadsheets and submit to save the data in the database. So far we explored various modes of data capture. Now, let's explore some of the analysis we can perform in Zometric SPC software. Let's navigate to Fabric Strength Warp and go to Capability Analysis. We will see a histogram and a neatly arranged table of capability indices. 
like CP, PP, CPK, PPK and a PPM table below that. Let's say, we are interested in analyzing the SPC scheme from the 1st of January 2020 till date. We can select or unselect the tick boxes based on what we need. If historical mean and sigma has been configured for the SPC scheme, we get the option whether to use them or not in the analysis. Both of these are selected by default, and we let it stay the same. Let's tick in for eye chart, MR chart, probability plot and individual value plot and click submit. We can download the charts in image format by clicking on the camera icon that appears when we hover over the chart. The charts are interactive. For example, we can switch on and switch off different rules in the control charts. If we want to get a closer look at certain parts of the charts, we can right-click and select the section to zoom into. We can click on the auto scale to reset the chart. In the normality probability plot we get the Anderson-Darling test parameter and the p-value. The capability and PPM reports are updated based on data of the selected period. Zometric SPC software also has many other capabilities. For example, we can statistically compare changes in a process over two different time periods or between two equipment. Let's do the comparison of three years time period with the one year time period. One can analyze the comparison with the help of a table, histogram, I chart, MR chart, and normal probability plot. All these powerful features and capabilities require some configurations like work units, equipments, parts, specifications and schemes. Zometric SPC software also offers a powerful role-based access control capability. These controls can help enterprise clients define who can or cannot view, add, edit or delete certain types of data along with an audit trail capability to comply with 21 CFR Part 11. You should have noticed that unlike standalone statistical software, we were not required to collate, clean and prepare data for our analysis. It was a simple point and click flow to get quick and accurate reports and analysis. Data captured by multiple people, from multiple data collection stations and at different times are all stored in one unified and organized database. The data, reports and analysis are all accessible from any modern browser with just a login and password. However, if you need to do some ad hoc data analysis without requiring data to be stored in a structured manner, that's also possible through the Zometric Statistical Analysis module. It has tools for graphical analysis, measurement system analysis, control charts, capability, hypothesis tests, ANOVA, regression, sampling plan etc. We highly recommend that you request an expert-led demo session for better understanding of the capabilities offered by Zometric suite of smart manufacturing solutions. To book your expert-led demo session and a free trial account, please visit www.zometric.com or call us on plus 919-9022439400. You can also reach out to the consultant or partner who introduced you to Zometric.